Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian from Love Revival TV. Um, as promised, I, I said on my last episode that I would be doing a few um, five to ten minute devotional videos. So I just wanted to share with you today um, what God's been speaking to me. I want to do a few devotionals, just uh, just short, simple, and to the point of what God is showing me in the Word uh, this week. So I want to encourage you to share, subscribe to Love Revival TV. So this is what God has been touching my life with lately. This is what has been making me cry like a baby and making me laugh like a crazy person, just so excited about the gospel. Um, what God's been speaking to me is that for all of eternity, before God was creator, He was Father. For all of eternity, He's had this intimate love relationship with Jesus. For all of eternity, Jesus has known what it's like to be fully loved, to have no sin, no controversy, total unity for all of eternity. Um, everlasting, I've been saying what everlasting means versus eternal. Everlasting has a start and no ending. Eternal has no start and it has no ending. It's outside of time. Everlasting starts but never ends. Jesus came to give us eternal life, which means he came to give us the same relationship that he had with Father God for all of eternity. No sin, no controversy, no disunity, no lack of love, everything laying bared, bare before the Father, everything before the Son, no secrets, no hidden agendas, no controversy, just total love, bliss, ecstasy, joy, joy unspeakable and full of glory has been all that Jesus has known of his relationship with Father God. And you don't deserve that. But Jesus through the cross came to give us that same level of intimacy and love with Father God. That's amazing. That's what you've been looking for. That's what you were created for. That's what we were all made to, come, to, to be on the earth for is to know Father God. If you have your Bible, Genesis, I mean uh, John 1 verse 16. And of his fullness we have all received for grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time, but the only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. Moses did the best that he could, but 2 Corinthians 3 says that it was a covenant that was started in death and had a little bit of glory in comparison to the ever-increasing glory of the new covenant. No one has ever seen God, which means no one can reveal God except for Jesus Christ. God sent him to reveal his nature, to reveal the love of the Father. It says that Jesus has been in the bosom of the Father, the deepest place of the heart of God, the Holy of Holies, for all of eternity. And Jesus' number one message, he came here to reveal and show what Father God is like. John 17, another amazing, amazing place that talks about this. This is where I'll end out. Two verses. Uh, verse 3, John 17, verse 3. And this is eternal. That you, when you see eternal, you can now think never beginning, never ending, intimacy, unity, love with Father God. And this is eternal life that they may know you, the one true God in Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Eternal life is knowing Jesus. Eternal life isn't just going to heaven and not hell and getting your passport stamped so you don't burn forever. No, it is eternal life, intimacy, love, bliss. Eden means bliss. The bliss of knowing Father God, the joy of knowing Papa. We cry out to him, Abba, Father, it says in Galatians and in Romans. Now, verse 20. I do not pray for these alone, but also those who will believe in me through your word. So Jesus is praying that you will encounter the same relationship that he has had with Father God for all of eternity. That they may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. So the same unity that Jesus has in Father God, the same unity that Father God has in Jesus, that we would come into that same glory relationship. Father, you are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us. Whoa. That the world may believe that you sent me and the glory which you gave me, that's for, all, for eternity, for everlasting to everlasting, the glory that Jesus has with the Father, I have given them that they may be one just as we are one. 
I and them, you and me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Another truth that will just absolutely mess up your life in the most glorious way ever is that God loves God, or God loves you the same way that God loves himself. It says here that, Jesus, that the Father God loves Jesus the same way he loves us. Jesus is fully God, fully man, and Father God loves his only begotten Son the same way that he loves us. God loves you as much as God loves God. That will change your life. You're in the image of God. You're, you're his very, you're of his nature. Second uh, Peter, maybe first Peter, says that we have a divine nature. You have the same nature as Papa. So I just want you to encourage you with that today. You're made in his image and Jesus came to restore a right relationship, the relationship that he's had with Father God for all of eternity. He wants to give that to you. So bless you. Have an amazing day.